So this question is a system of equations. It says in the given system of equations, P is a constant. The system has no solution. What is the value of P? So the hint here is this idea that the system has no solution. In order for the system to have no solution, both the Y's must cancel out and the X's must cancel out. Well, how do we get the Y's to cancel out? Let me erase this so we can kind of see. Well, how do we get that to happen? Well, for the Y's, it's pretty straightforward. I can just subtract, which in essence means multiply the entire bottom equation by negative 1. In doing that, it will make my Y negative. It will make this PX a negative PX. And it will make this positive 8 a negative 8. And when I then combine my equations together, the Y's would cross out. Now, what number would need to be here in place of the P in order for the X's to cross out? Well, if I had a 3 here, right? If I could replace that P with a 3, then I'd have 3X minus 3X, and then the X's would also cross out. So that tells me that P must equal 3, right? If P, again, let me just erase all this. If P were equal to 3, let me prove it to you. I mean, the answer is D, so we could just move on. But let me prove it to you. The first equation, <clears throat> the first equation would say y equals 3x plus 5. The second equation would say y equals 3x plus 8. And then, again, I'm going to multiply the entire bottom equation by negative 1, making that a negative, making this a negative, making this a negative. In doing so, my y's cross out, so this is a 0, equals my x's cross out because 3x minus 3x is nothing, and 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 0 does not actually equal negative 3, and that's why we have no solution here, right? So I just proved to you by using the strategy plug-in answers that 3 is correct, but realistically, the reason why we knew 3 was correct was based upon the definition of what it means for a system of equations to have no solution, right? So we said, in order for a system of equations to have no solution, both the y variables and the x variables variables must cross out, right? So we subtract it and the y's are gone. We subtract and we replace p with 3, and now the x's are gone, which tells me p must be equal to 3.